uh, GMX is a decentralized perpetuals exchange. Uh, they allow up to 30x leverage so that you can long or short up to uh, eight different assets. Um, they also have a decentralized swap that is now being integrated into lots of other uh, DEX aggregators. And uh, this has just been like a powerhouse in what's being referred to as real yield. Here is where I'm either going to, you know, long or short with leverage. So like, let's say I want to put up uh, one ETH and I want to trade with up to uh, 20x leverage. Uh, what's, what's really driving a lot of the fees uh, within GMX is the fact that, you know, I'm borrowing Ether here uh, to trade with a larger position. And you can see here the fees. I'm, I'm actually in this, in, in this example, I'd be paying 0.1% of just the position size to open that up. Um, on top of the fact that I'm paying a borrowing fee here of 0.0049% per hour. Mm -hmm. If I am a GLP holder, you know, when traders pay fees, I'm, I'm earning a share of those fees, uh, whether it's borrowing for leverage, opening a position, exiting a position, trading on the market swap here, um, I'm holding this index here of, of all these tokens, but the the fees over time that I really want to note here, which is really, I think, what's driven a lot of attention on GMX, which this is purely in uh, denominated in ETH. Mm -hmm. It's currently 28%. The, the next two things that GMX really has on the roadmap are pretty exciting. So the first is our synthetic PVP uh, market making kind of liquidity product. And then the next and final product is um, X4. So that's the protocol controlled AMM. It, it would allow users to, or protocols to have like dynamic fees on certain, you know, functions of like a, a transaction. So like a different fee for selling versus buying, which, you know, might be a, an interesting mechanism for like a stable coin or something like that.